from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, December the 4th, 2020. Israel's Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi met with Jordan's Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi at the Allenby Bridge border crossing yesterday. A first meeting between the counterparts and the first time in years between foreign ministers of the neighboring countries. The Jordanian foreign ministry said Safadi and Ashkenazi discussed a number of issues relating to the Palestinians, including him calling for a restart to peace talks. A delegation of Israeli doctors entered Gaza yesterday to try and help deal with the surge in coronavirus cases there. The mission of 12 doctors, all of whom are Israeli Arabs, was organized by Physicians for Human Rights. They will provide free treatment and training as well as medical equipment and medication to help Gazans deal with the pandemic. A number of anti-Israel resolutions were passed this week at the United Nations, part of some 21 resolutions brought before the General Assembly every year in an effort to undermine Israel's legitimacy. The five passed on Wednesday were to renew the pro-Palestinian infrastructure of UN committees, including one committee whose sole purpose is to advance an extreme anti-Israel narrative. Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, noted that no other country in the world faces such discrimination in the UN. But Erdan also noted that after intense diplomatic efforts, some countries changed their voting pattern this year and stood with Israel. Erdogan said the countries that supported Israel have understood that this package of resolutions does nothing to forward peace, but serves only to entrench the Palestinians' rejectionist position and deepen the conflict. Jewish organizations also condemned the annual practice at the UNGA, which the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations called repugnant. They wrote, the path to peace cannot be paved by repeatedly castigating and condemning Israel on the international stage. The UNGA must stop fanning the flames of conflict by drafting and voting on these biased, provocative, and baseless resolutions every year. But the conference also stressed that support for the resolutions was waning. Writing, we are encouraged to see more countries standing with Israel at the UNGA and hope others will follow this more just and constructive approach in the days ahead. The Council of the European Union issued a declaration this week to fight against anti-Semitism, with EU member states agreeing to mainstream the prevention and countering of anti-Semitism in all its forms. Israel's foreign ministry welcomed the declaration. Spokesperson Lior Hayat tweeted, We hope and expect that the declaration will assist European Union member states in combating the phenomenon of anti-Semitism, particularly during the current period where the number of anti-Semitic incidents in Europe is rising. Jewish groups welcomed the initiative as well. B'nai B'rith International wrote that the declaration highlights a core belief we share and advocate for in the EU and globally. Fighting anti-Semitism is not merely a Jewish responsibility, it is a responsibility for all society. Well, Israel sent an IDF delegation to Honduras this week to help in the aftermath of back-to-back -back hurricanes that wreaked havoc in the Central American country. Fifteen Home Front Command officers in reserve are helping to evaluate damages from the Eta and Iota hurricanes that struck Honduras earlier this month. And today the IDF shared photos from the mission. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, December the 4th, live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from Central Synagogue, followed by Kabbalat Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.15, Brett Stevens and Barry Weiss join Eric Ward to discuss ways of reversing hate in America with Jody Rudoran from the 2019 ADL's Never Is Now Summit. At 9, it's the film Israel Indivisible, followed by a replay from the Hampton Synagogue and then a replay from the Central Synagogue Services. 
And coming up at 5.30, it's a look at this week's Torah portion, followed by Shabbat in COVID-19, in which JBS President Mark S. Gala provides updates on COVID-19 vaccines and shares more information about JBS's premiere this coming Tuesday on Comcast Xfinity Channel 1684. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, December the 4th, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom.